So this is a wonderful example of black mustard. Don't let the yellow in the, in the flowers fool you. That's not what they use to make the mustard. They use the seeds. The seeds are black and sometimes red or brown and they're crushed and pounded and vinegar and other spices are added to the mix to, call, to make mustard. And it's usually brown. But man likes to make things attractive and they add yellow dye. So most of the mustard that's yellow has had added color, whether it be natural or not. You could read the ingredients, but anyway, this plant is what mustard is made from. The mustard's made from the seeds. Beautiful thing about this, these young greens are edible, full of iron, vitamin C, a lot of nutrients that you need to survive. These flowers are edible. And I'm going to pick some from the top so the little doggy that came by didn't pee on them. <clears throat> That's what they look like. Yeah. It's spicy. Mmm. Really flavorful. Really palatable. Not too bitter or pungent. Now, the young leaves are best. I'm going to get in here and find a couple young ones and you can you know you can eat them larger than that if you're surviving I would recommend gathering the larger leaves so you can get more and um, you could survive off those greens for three or four weeks and um, would get all the nutrients you needed until you got rescued and again, these flowers are just delectable. I love to collect these on the trailhead. I've been posting a lot of wild edible plants on this hike. Not everywhere right off the path you're gonna to want to collect and harvest wild edible plants. You wanna make sure it's a place like here where you know hasn't been sprayed with pesticides. And as you can tell, everything's green right here. Here's the path. Here's the right off of the path. All green, meaning there's been no pesticide sprayed here. If you're at a place that's like a local park, you really want to watch what you're eating and what you're collecting. It's best just to go up in the mountains or go, you know, in the national forest where you know they're not spraying with pesticides. So if you were to figure out, well, how would I know? All that grass right there would be dead grass and you would see it would go like two or three feet in where they're spraying and then everything beyond that would be alive. So here we've got nice green grass. We're way up in the mountains. Nobody's spraying up here, thank God. But anyway, just something to be warned about um, when you're collecting and eating edibles. Also, you know, dogs, people like to take their dogs. Dogs like to pee, so you take them home and wash them. Um, try to collect maybe something further in off of the path um, and higher up off of the ground. All right, enjoy.